Coward Pogan, I saw your fucking video. I'm coming for you. You asked for it. Dragging me. Dragon energy, dragon energy. I saw your fucking bullshit, Pogan. Sick of your shit, Pogan. You want beef? 
You want beef? You want beef? You want beef? You fucking coward? You ran away from you and you fucking the baby? You little bitch? You little fucking bitch, Pogan? You fucking coward? You fucking coward? I'm gonna slander you and defame you to the very end. Because I'm bigger than you, bitch. Physically and in terms of clout. Little bitch. Little bitch Pogan. Talking all that shit. You stupid fucking video. You made a fucking video about shit you were too scared to debate about. Those very topics you were too scared to debate about, you fucking coward. Biggest fucking coward there fucking is. Langley CIA agent ass little bitch. Fuck you, Pogan. Little ass bitch. Fucking CIA agent little ass bitch. Talking all that shit. Talking all that shit. Made that fucking video. Not Little did you know I'm a fucking warrior, my friend. I'm a fucking warrior, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think you messing with, Pogan? Little ass CIA propped up ass little bitch. I'm gonna eat you for breakfast. I'm gonna eat you for breakfast, Pogan. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Scared to fucking debate me with your little bitch ass video. Stupid fucking video. I'm calling you out, Pogan. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out, Pogan. I'm calling you out, Pogan. Here I am calling you out. You're too scared, Pogan. You're too scared. Motherfucking CIA agent ass little bitch. Think nobody's onto your fucking game? Think nobody knows what you up to? Little ass bitch. That's right, Pogan. I'm coming for you. That's right, Pogan. That's right, Pogan. That's right, Pogan. Think you're gonna get away with your little bullshit? Gonna use our channel and you're gonna try to join BreadTube? Boxes of Leninism is the future! Tankies are the future! BreadTube has no future. You just sided with the lost side. You fucked up, Hogan. You fucked up. We're on the rise, you little fucking gerbil, you a tiny fucking gerbil, and we're on the rise. I don't think it's gonna turn out for you, Pogan. This little gerbil trying to descend ranks and join bread to how do you think it's gonna turn out for you, little bitch? How do you think it's gonna turn out? The lad bitch, Pogan. Tanky's on the rise. Box some Leninism in the age of multipolarity and the post covid world. On the rise. You think you're gonna diss on tankies? Like we're the past? No, Pogan, you fucked up. We're the future, Pogan. We're the future, Pogan. We're the future. That's right, Pogan. You talking about the future. Yeah, Pogan, that's right. That's right. We're the future, Pogan. We're the future, Pogan. We're the future. That's exactly what you're talking about. Fucking Pogan. Fucking coward. I'm calling you out, Pogan. Where you at? Where you at, Pogan? Pogan, you little ass bitch. Where you at? Where he's at, huh?
Guess what, guys? Guess what I got? A new fucking camera. How do you like it? How do you like it? I got a new camera, but I ha it has to be up here because the fucking, it's a USB type C camera and it's too short. No one, the Best Buy didn't tell me it was a fucking uh, type C, so I didn't get the fucking extender, you know. Am I balding? Yes. But this is my actual hairline since everybody wanted to see it. But I didn't get the fucking extender, so it's going to be up there for now until I get an uh, extender. We got a new beautiful camera. See how much better it is? I don't know if you can tell the difference, but we got 60 FPS now. You know what I'm saying? 60 FPS, so we can do a lot of magic tricks and shit. And, you know, 60 FPS. That's what we're dealing with. That's what we're talking about. 60 FPS. Just shave your head. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, I'm not there yet. But, I, you know, I'm on the way. But even, you know, man, I hate this shit. I hate this shit. Hold on. I hate how it's fucking angled. But it is what it is, you know. I'm going to get the extender, and then I can put it on my stand. Now you guys can see my webcam. See it? I can take this and put this on here, but I don't have, the cord's not big enough for now, so we're stuck with it to be up there. And yeah, guys, we got one week until we're re-migrating back to Twitch. We got one week. One measly week. Can you believe that? One week. One week. Uh. Yeah, we got one week. Damn, should I finish this shit? Yeah, should I finish this shit? Should I finish this shit? You guys, today's stream is supposed to be at 4 p.m. It's supposed to be at 4 p.m. But guess what happened? I had to go to Best Buy to get a new fucking camera. Because I'm sick of this one. He's a shit camera from fucking 10 years ago. Literally bought it like 10 years ago. Now we got a professional HD streamer camera, you know? And guys, look how fucking hairy I am. Look at that. Just woke up with the Best Buy, you know. <sighs> the fuck does Mankey mean? Huh? I'm serious about debating Pogan, but where the fuck is, uh, Pogan's bitch ass, huh? Where's Pogan's bitch ass? Where's Pogan's bitch ass, huh? Where's he at? Go get Pogan. Bring him to me. Go bring Pogan to me. Yep, I saw the new vid. He's going to come on stream, and he's going to directly answer for what he did. He's going to answer for what he said. Bring Pogan to me. Gorillas, bring Pogan to me. He's got a Twitter, he's got a Discord, go get him for me. That's him. Bring Pogan to me, he's going to answer for his video. We actually, we got some... We got somebody who's going to contact him. Pogan the pussy. We're going to bring his bitch ass on. Is that the only aspect ratio? It's the same as the old one. It's got nothing to do with the camera. That's Streamlabs. I don't, I don't, I still don't know how to fucking do full screen.
Bring Pogan's bitch ass to me now. His fat bitch ass. He made a video calling me out, talking all this shit. Stupid fuck, Pogan. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring his bitch ass right here. I'm going to show you the video. But guess what? Guess what? I'm not going to show the video where it's big. Hogan small, I'm big. So this is how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to do it. Like this. Because I'm going to be bigger. So we're going to put Pogan's little bitch ass right here. And we're going to see what he's, his bitch ass is saying. Let's see what Pogan's bitch ass is saying. Let's see. Politicians mm -hmm. compelled only to preserve their own power and spin in convoluted webs of lies. Designed to keep their people committed to What? Long right at the outset. Okay, zero, let's start. Politicians. What? Politicians. He's what, is, what kind of fucking start is this? What is he even talking about? Politicians compelled only to preserve their own power and spin convoluted webs of lies. Designed, designed to keep their people committed to a long abandoned cause. If there was one thing- What a fucking lie! This guy doesn't know shit about fucking history! What a fucking lie! Name one example of that, Pogan, you fucking fat lying fuck! ...liberals and conservatives in mainstream politics were right about. It was that these societies were morally abhorrent, and it just- Oh my, you were morally abhorrent! Because we give a fuck about Pogan's bitch morality. Who the fuck are you to call anything morally abhorrent? You live in fucking America, you fucking pussy! <clears throat> Who the fuck are you to call anything more? What moral ground do you stand on, Pogan? What moral ground do you stand upon with which you can judge others? Abstraction? Huh? Where do you stand to call something morally abhorrent? Check your own fucking backyard, you little stupid bitch. Defense of them was a defense of rigid authoritarianism, upheld at the cost of... Rigid authoritarianism works out and he's using fucking trigger phrases that mean nothing substantively but which connote ideological associations. Rigid authoritarianism shut the fuck up, you fucking cocksucker, you fucking MSM cocksucker trying to fucking pander to the fucking retarded ideological bullshit that already prevails in our society, and you call yourself a fucking socialist, you little fucking fat ass bitch. Millions of lives. Today, what is understood to be the left is fractured into numerous subgroups, none of which seem to agree with each other on much of anything other than the fact that unrestrained capitalism is bad. One can be a leftist- What the fuck are you talking about, you stupid bitch? ...if they are advocating for something akin to a social democracy, a more empathetic, more socially- The retard doesn't fucking understand that online labels don't actually define real-world politics. You can call whatever the fuck you- You can be a furry online, doesn't fucking matter. That's not what real politics is, you fucking idiot. Politics is defined by what's happening in reality. So whether you're a tanky like me, anything else, if you're with Jimmy Dore, you're an anti-establishment kind of guy, you're the same. Pogan, you fucking moron. You don't have to go delve into the fucking- Crips and think about Bordega and all that stupid fucking bullshit and fucking left communism and <laughs> no, you're a shill for the Democrats, you're a little bitch for the establishment. That's what defines you. That's what fucking defines you. Stop trying to get into the fucking weeds of fake made up identities that have no fucking political reality. You stupid fucking fat cocksucker. The oriented form of a capitalist economy that focuses on public welfare. Wait, is his hairline that far back? Yeah, dude, this is my real hairline. Usually, my hair is long, so I either comb it forward or comb it back. And when I comb it back, it looks stupid. So I usually comb it forward, and it hides the real hairline. But this is it. This is it. Because everyone wanted to see it. So I got it short enough to, you know, to show Similarly. It. One, One can be a leftist, leftist if they literally, they literally run apologetics, apologetics for the now defunct Soviet, Soviet Union. Mo apologetics for the now defunct. We don't have to fucking run up. Uh, apologies are for mistakes, you stupid fat fuck. Apologies are for mistakes. What are we apologizing for? We're not apologizing for shit. We're breaking the spine of the liberal little little mouses, little bitches like you, who talk shit about the fucking uh, Soviet Union. You fucking pussy. Most, Most of us, us would agree, agree, all else being equal. equal. 
that one of these individuals is likely going to come off as more pragmatic. I can't see Haas the same anymore. Dude, I literally look the same. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Dramatic and arguably more sane than the other. After all, for all the wrongdoings of the United States, States government, defending the wrongdoings of other imperialist nations by comparing them to the history of American imperialism. Hogan, you fucking retard. You can't just go flailing your arms, calling, this is right and this is wrong. You have to have a ground to stand upon because morality doesn't come from thin air, you stupid fuck. So how can you judge something as right or wrong unless you're trying to put it in a fucking vacuum? Well, guess what? The Soviet Union and China didn't exist in a fucking vacuum. They existed in a certain reality. So if you were in the same shoes, what would you do, huh, Pogan? You have to be responsible for everything. You can't just say you do nothing, you fucking stupid fat cocksucker. Oh, but you know more than them, Pogan. You know more than them. You're smarter than them. Do you really think that? Do you really think you're smarter than them, Pogan? Yes, American retard leftists do. They actually do. It's to imply that evils can be justified by other evils. Unless one is to suggest that all of the Soviet Union's brutally totalitarian actions were simply forced response. You see how per Pogan engages in total he engages in circular reasoning? He he this is what he did in my DMs too. Pogan is a guy who engages in tautologies and circular re reasoning. If we accept the premise that the Soviet Union is totalitarian a priori, Obviously, we have to accept that that's, oh, those are bad. but you have to prove, that's what you failed to prove, Pogan. You're just trying to appeal to people's prejudiced intuitions, which were defined by fucking propaganda and ideology, not a factual analysis of actual fucking history. That's why even the bourgeois historians can't adopt the totalitarian model, because when you, even when you, as an empiricist, impartially investigate the facts, it doesn't fucking add up. You stupid, fat, ugly, fucking gerbil fuck. ...responses to American aggression. A notion that is as dishonest as it is ahistorical. One must concede by all accounts, the USSR should be broadly viewed as an example of ideology being used as a crutch for malevolence and power. How? 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 When did that ever happen, Pogan? Name a single historical example of what you're fucking talking about. Please come on my fucking show, defend this fucking retarded train wreck of a fucking video. Do you even know what ideology means? So, so according to Pogan, right, when the leaders of the USSR made decisions, made decisive, important decisions, they first thought in their head, oh, how will I impress Pogan with ide and ju justify it morally in Pogan's eyes with ideology? Pogan, no one fucking cares about your stupid fat ass. They didn't have to appeal to ideology to fucking justify anything, you fucking retard. Online content creators such as Bay Area, a Marxist Leninist, Infrared, and other. You fucking mentioned my name? I'm gonna fucking breathe fire on you like a fucking dragon that's gonna roast a fucking capybara, a fucking fat big rat. Like they have in South America. You're mentioning infrared? Big fucking mistake, Pogan. Big fucking mistake. I'm gonna fucking go to war with you, Pogan. For the next seven days, I'm going to war with you until you get on my fucking show. Pogan, I'm at fucking war with you now. You fucking pissed me off, Pogan. You pissed me off, Pogan. You made a big fucking mistake mentioning my name. After you ran away and dodged debates from me. Pogan, I'm gonna fuck you. I'm gonna fuck you on stream. I'm gonna fuck you on stream, Pogan. Pogan, you made a big fucking mistake. Who the fuck do you think I am? Who the fuck do you think I am, Pogan? Pogan, who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Others continue to promote Marxism-Leninism as the only legitimate response to capitalism. With all other takes on Marx's ideas being perceived as unworkable at best, deliberate attempts at disinformation by the CIA at worst. From Eastern Which Europe. is exactly what they fucking are, and we have receipts to prove it. That's the difference between us and you, Hogan. We have receipts to prove our claims about that shit being CIA, that shit being an op. We can actually prove that with receipts, Hogan. That's the difference between you and us.
Europe, to Maoist China, to Cambodia under Pol Pot, and Vietnam under Ho Chi Minh. The application of Marxism- Vietnam under Ho Chi Minh, let's see what he has to say about those. Leninism has consistently led to brutal atrocities and flagrant violations. Every single state was built upon violence. There is not a- s Okay, Pogan, name me a single fucking state in the history of mankind that wasn't forged in violence. Name me a single one, you fucking disgusting fat hypocrite. You fucking live in America. You drink and breathe the fruits of the American statehood, which you have to admit was also built upon atrocities, and you take that for granted in order to spit venom on people who are trying to build an alternative to America and to fucking uh, the status quo that they themselves had and inherited. You fucking fat hypocrite bitch. You think you're an airy fairy judge? Nah, I'm Pogan. I wear my little uh, judgment glasses. And yeah, I live in America, a country that was founded on the skulls and blood of Native Americans. But um, I I reserve the right to judge others. I res because you know it's not like I take Pogan. When you're fucking out in the wild, Pogan, I'm gonna fucking throw you in the fucking middle of the fucking steppe. The Mongol steppe, Pogan. And I'm gonna fucking ride my fucking horse and charge at you, Pogan. And I'm gonna slap your bitch ass in the fucking face while I'm riding towards you. And what are you gonna do, Pogan? There's no state to protect you. There's no laws to protect you. You would have to fucking build a state in order to have... And live the fucking life that you live now. You would beg for a state. But guess what, Pogan? States are built from fucking violence. So how are you going to do it, Pogan? How are you going to build a state from scratch? How are you going to fucking do it, Pogan? Because you're acting like you're a moral agent who lives in fucking... You act like you're a fucking moral agent who who uh, operates from a vacuum that's everything's from scratch. So you have to build your own state from scratch to accommodate your fucking abstract, meaningless, and indeterminate moral position. You stupid fuck, Pogan. You dumb fuck. I'm fucking coming for you, Pogan. I'm gonna breathe fire on you, Pogan. You just unlock dragon energy, Pogan. I eat dragon meat, Pogan. You don't know who you fucking with, Pogan. I'm angry, Pogan. I'm an angry guy, Pogan. I'm a bitter, angry guy, Pogan. You don't know who you fucking with. ...of international law and human rights. Fat fuck pussy, Pogan. Everyone repeat after me. Pogan the fat pussy. Everyone repeat at me. Pogan has a mangina. Pogan has a mangina. Pogan has a man. Everyone repeat at me. Pogan has a mangina. Pogan has a mangina. Everyone, everyone, we're going to bully him forever. We're going to bully him forever, just like you bully people in high school. We're going to bully Pogan forever. Forever and ever. This is not something that is confined to history textbooks. Modern China, which still incorporates. Pogan, you're going to be bullied for the rest of your time on YouTube. I'm going to make sure of that. I'm going to make sure you will always be bullied, Pogan. You will always be bullied, you fucking pussy running away from a debate. You fucking fat, ugly pussy. Parades elements of Marxist, Leninist, and Maoist thought is likely engaged in a campaign of ethnic cleansing against Uyghur Muslims in the Xinjiang province, something no doubt justified through the perceived threat Uyghurs pose to the state and the party, and something that draws unfortunate parallels to the treatment of Muslims in the United States, Following the September 11th, two. What did he fucking say? I didn't even hear what he said. I was I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at chats. This is not something that is confined to history textbooks. Modern China, which still incorporates elements of Marxist, Leninist, and Maoist thought, is likely engaged in a camp. Where's the Maoist thought, you fucking retard? It's called Mao Zedong thought. It's not Maoism, you fucking illiterate retard. Maoism is something outside of China. And within China, uh, they're not in power. So what the fuck are you talking about, you dumb fuck? You're using words you don't fucking understand because you have a fucking Wikipedia education, you dumb shit. What is he saying, though? Let's see what he's saying. He's going to talk about the fake genocide. The fake genocide. That's what he's going to talk about. Campaign of ethnic cleansing against Uyghur Muslims in the Xinjiang province. Something no doubt justified through the perceived threat Uyghurs pose to the state and the party, and something that draws unfortunate parallels to the treatment of Muslims in the United States following the September 11th, 2000. What are you fucking talking about, Pogan? What the fuck are you talking about, you dumb fuck? He wants to air what he perceives to be all the dirty, dirty laundry of whole states with billions and hundreds of millions and tens of millions of fucking people, and Pogan the individual is gonna sit his ass on his chair, and he's gonna fucking judge them as though he's judging a single individual. Pogan, build your own state and see how it fucking turns out, you fucking retard.
You know what it means to run a state. You know what it means to run a civilization. You know what it means to be the leader of tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people. Stupid fuck. What a dumb fucking arrogant bitch making this video. Stupid arrogant bitch. One terrorist attacks. Running apologetics for these regimes does two things, both of which are highly toxic to the agenda of the left. First, it implies that the- Everyone repeat after me. Fuck your left. Fuck your left. Fuck your left, bitch. Fuck your left. Fuck its agenda. Your fake fucking agenda. Fuck your left. Fuck the left. Fuck you. Fuck the left, you stupid bitch. Like, we're supposed to give a shit about your fucking left? We're supposed to give a shit about the agenda on the left? The agenda on the left? No, I'm going to run comments on the agenda on the left. So in the 20th century, real actual people who were actually real uh, historical figures and actually matter in history, they run counter to the modern American agenda of the left that was defined by Bosch. This is the agenda of the left, guys. The entire People's Republic of China, over a billion people, runs counter to my agenda of the left, which has no reality. It means nothing. I pulled it out of my ass. Doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Fucking stupid fat gerbil bitch. Fucking naked mole rat. Fucking pogan. Fucking fat fuck. The USSR, China, Cambodia, and similar nations are true realizations of leftism. And so what the fuck does that even mean? A true realization? Of leftism? Of all things? No, no, no. Not a true realization of a state where people can get fed and are uplifted and they have their basic needs met and they have electricity and they have, you know. No, no, no. It's all about realizations of leftism. In other words, when Ho Chi Minh was fighting the USA in the Vietnam War, what he had in mind was winning, uh, winning debates with right-wingers and the internet in 2020. Right? It's all about whether the left wing or the right wing agenda wins because he's a fucking internet brain retard and he thinks the fake political disputes on the internet were literally fought with guns in the 20th century. Like, as though Marxist Leninists in the 20th century were literally fighting the equivalent of his online battles that he's fighting right now. Oh, we're just trying to realize leftism, guys. We're just trying to realize leftism. What the fuck does that even mean, realize leftism? Like, leftism is an ideal that we want to realize, guys. No, 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 leftism isn't some incidental way of categorizing different political uh, blocks. No, no, leftism itself is the end. No, 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 the end is not fighting American imperialism. No, 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 the end was not uh, forging a, a people state. No, 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 leftism itself is the end, guys. What a stupid fuck. What a literal fucking brainless stupid fuck. Second, it forwards the notion that genocide and imperialism are excusable, so long as some- See, uh, more tautological circular uh, reasoning. He doesn't explain and prove why they're imperialist. He doesn't explain and prove genocide, which is such a heinous and serious accusation. He just assumes the premise. He assumes the premise. He assumes the premise. This is the whole key to Pogan's pseudo-fake inability to think. Pogan just assumes the premise. He just engages in circular reasoning. That's his whole, that's the key to his whole shtick. In my fucking DMs, that's exactly what he did too. He did the same shit he's doing in this video. The same shit. Such efforts are undergone to oppose capitalism. Neither of these interpretations benefit the view of the left by the public. Noted Retard. 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 Pogan. Retard. They're calling Joe Biden a communist. They call Joe Biden a communist. Every Trump supporter thinks Joe Biden's a communist. You think they're going to give you mercy when you call yourself a socialist? Doesn't matter how much you denounce the U.S. Before you have time to explain yourself, Pogan, they're going to call you Paul Pot. Before you have time to add your nuance, before you have time to qualify your... You, you can't control this association, Pogan. You have no control over the objective fact that people are going to associate socialism and communism with the real life examples. You can't control that because normal working people think in terms of material reality, not in terms of airy fairy abstractions. You ask a guy on the street, why should I give a shit about communism? They're going to think, 
What's communism? Oh yeah, that's the Soviet Union. That's the only reason it's fucking relevant. If that didn't exist, why should they entertain some fake imaginary airy fairy big rock candy mountain bullshit? You stupid fuck. Working people, working people want to see meat and potatoes. Working people don't have time for you, Pogan. Working people are interested in the money. Show me the money. Show me the meat and potatoes. Show me the actual fucking reality of what you're talking about. Why it has any relevance whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? But Pogan, this is why you're such a fucking hypocrite and everyone around you is a fucking hypocrite. Because what you do, Pogan, you little fat, gerbil, disgusting fucking hypocrite bitch. What you do, Pogan, what you fucking do is that you dick ride off of the infamy the USSR gave the word socialism and communism and you try to add your own nuance to it. Just like how Hassan on Twitch, his profile picture looks like it's socialist realist propaganda. But if you ask Hassan what he thinks about that, he's going, no, 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 no. But why do you need to fucking dick ride off of the objective association then? You dick ride off of the meme power created by the Soviet Union and created by the real communists who did the heavy lifting in the 20th century. And then like a fucking hypocrite and coward, you go in and then disassociate yourself and you fucking back away. No, no, I'm not really, you know, talking about the sound weekend. You're such a fucking disgusting hypocrite and a fucking liar, you little bitch Pogan, you fucking pussy. You're literally the fucking biggest fat pussy. He's literally such a pussy. Scholar and political commentator. Pogan's watching right now. Pogan, you a fat fucking pussy. I'm gonna fucking bully you to the end of time. I'm gonna make sure you're always known on the internet for being the fat, disgusting pussy that you fucking are. You fucking lying bitch. You fucked up making this video, boy. You fucked up. You're gonna be bullied forever, Pogan. You're gonna be bullied forever, Pogan. Swirlies for eternity. Swirlies for eternity for you, Pogan. Fucking pussy. Peter Noam Chomsky is famous for viewing the Soviet Union as not only something other than a socialist. Pogan, I know you're trying to report the video right now, just like you tried to report the other video, Pogan. It's not gonna do you any good, Pogan, you fucking fat pussy. It's not gonna do you any fucking good, you fat pussy, you little bitch. You fucking bitch, Pogan. Yeah, I'm calling you a bitch, Pogan. I'm calling you a fucking bitch, Pogan. Because that's exactly what you fucking are, Pogan. You're a fucking bitch. You're a fucking bitch, Pogan. I'm looking at you, Pogan. You're a fucking bitch, Pogan. You a bitch. This nation, ...but considerably divorced from the conception of socialism Karl Marx conceived of in his writings. Despite... Oh yeah, Pogan! What, what did Marx conceive in his writings? Please explain it. Explain what Marx conceived in his writings... Precisely and exactly. Go ahead and tell us, Fogan. Let's test your knowledge. He says shit and then doesn't prove it. He says things and he doesn't have receipts. We're just supposed to accept it. Why? No one knows. No one knows why we're supposed to just accept the bullshit things Pogan says. But we're just supposed to. We're just supposed to point Blake accept what he says. He's such a pussy. Literal fucking pussy. The pushback from extremists on the left, Chomsky is correct. The U.S. Is Chomsky is correct. Chomsky is a fucking State Department fake leftist bitch who said the Soviet Union was the greatest victory for Soviet Union's collapse was the greatest victory for socialism, even though it led to fucking more excess mortality. It led to a rate of excess mortality in the fucking former USSR comparable to World War II. Oh no no, but Chomsky, he, what a what a great guy, what a great example, Chomsky, you stupid bitch. Michael Parenti fucking slaps Chomsky with his fucking mega fucking Chad Thundercock. The Tsar was never a socialist nation. Lenin conceded as much before. Did Lenin concede that, Pogan? He conceded it was never a socialist nation when Lenin died in the fucking 20s and the Soviet Union existed for 70 years? You stupid fuck. You stupid fuck, Pogan. Do you think the Soviet Union was the same in the 20s as it was in the 70s? You stupid fuck. What a stupid fucking thing to say. Before he died, 
And under Stalin, it became a grotesque perversion of the pro-worker agenda. Prom Prove it! Pro what pro-worker agenda do you have in mind, Pogan, by the way? Because before Lenin said the key lied in the kolkhozes, the key lies in the, in the fucking peasant cooperatives. Lenin said that. That was Lenin's vision. Stalin just carried it forward. That's all Stalin fucking did. You want to debate about that too, Pogan? Because that's on record. Lenin, everyone understood the key lied in the kolkhozes. The key lied in the cool closes. Stupid bitch. Dominant leftists like. And when by the time Lenin died, by the way, you stupid, fat, Ill historically illiterate, dumb, fucking gerbil bitch fuck. I want you to know, actually, Pogan, that was during the NEP. The NEP, which ended in 1928. Do you know anything about history, Pogan? Do you know anything about anything? Not just Marxism. So do you know anything about anything? No, you don't. And yet you have the fucking confidence to make a nine-minute video with a fucking logo as though you're some professional guy. And you literally don't know more than a fifth grader. You literally don't know more than a fifth grader. Why does anyone... Let's see. Let's see. You know what? Everyone go fucking... I want to see this thumbed down. I want everyone to go and thumb down this video. Go thumb down this fucking video. Why the fuck does this video have a majority of likes? Go fucking thumb down this fucking video. Go give it a thumbs down. Give this fucking video a thumbs down. Stupid bitch, Pogan. We're gonna see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Let's make sure we get. he gets the thumbs down he deserves. Go give this video the thumbs down. By the way, he deleted my comment. Because I go, I went and checked. He deleted my content, uh, comment. Fucking pussy. Stupid Numbers bitch. The there we go. There we Numbers go. The there we go. Now we're talking. Numbers now we're talking, you fucking pussy, Pogan, you little bitch. Who's the fucking guy with the Numbers big platform, the huh, Pogan, you stupid fuck? Talking all that Numbers shit. Fake bread. He wants to fucking join BreadTube and be a part of BreadTube's little fucking club. When the tankies are the ones who are still on your back, Pogan, we tankies are gonna drag your ass back to where you fucking came from, boy. You're not gonna join Vosh. You're not gonna join Xander Hall. You're not gonna be part of the Big Bread Tube Club. We're gonna pull your bitch ass back to the depths of where you came from. Pogan, we're not here stuck with you. You're in here stuck with us, Pogan. You're stuck with us, Pogan. You're not better than us, Pogan. You're stuck with us, Pogan. You're stuck with us. Rosa Luxemburg, Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels, and Vladimir Lenin himself wrote about. Stop. What do they write about? Let's see, what do they write about? Perversion of the pro-worker agenda prominent leftists like Rosa Luxemburg. What agenda are you talking about? Name it. Name what you're talking about. And literally every single thing you can't, you can't, you can't. He's just using word salad. He doesn't have receipts. He can't back it up with anything. Authority. Like we're supposed to just accept this all intuitively as though it's self-evidently true. That's Pogan's whole shtick. We're just supposed to accept all of this a priori intuitively just because Pogan said so. Aryan regime, the likes of which had never been seen before. Rivaled only in its brutality and total lack of empathy by Nazi Germany. <laughs> He's describing the state as though it's a person. He's saying the state didn't have empathy. What, st what state has empathy, Po, you stupid fuck? How can a state have empathy? What does that even mean? Because you're a fucking retard individualist who doesn't fucking understand that there's social, impersonal... And higher realities that are not just individual. You're such a stupid fuck. Whose lack of empathy rivaled Nazi Germany. Why do you have to bring up the Nazis? You think America has empathy? You think Britain has empathy? You think France has empathy? What are you bringing the Nazis in for, Pogan? That's the reality of every state on planet Earth. Because states are not people. A state is not an individual actor that you can ascribe empathy. What a stupid fuck. And he, he uses the word empathy. Oh, I'm Pogan. I have empathy. Pogan, you have so much empathy, yet you can't manage to minimum, at minimum, put yourself in the shoes of those people and actually take into account the conditions they found themselves in. That's what empathy means, Pogan, by the way. It's the ability to think from perspectives that are not your own. 
You don't have that, Pogan. Because you're a stupid, fat, arrogant fuck. And I know you're watching this, Pogan. And my nuts are in your fucking mouth. I'm going to keep talking about you, Pogan, in front of my 200, maybe 300 viewers tonight. Pogan. I'm not going to drop this, Pogan. We're going to have, for the next seven days, our daily Pogan roast. And throughout the streams, I'm going to bring you up. I'm going to keep mentioning you, Pogan. I'm going to keep exposing you, Pogan. I'm never going to stop until you debate me, you fucking pussy. You're not going to shake me off until you debate me, Pogan. You're not going to shake me off your back until you fucking debate me, you fucking pussy. Pogan, you fucking pussy. I'm not going to fucking stop until you fucking debate me, Pogan. How about that? How about that? How about, what are you going to do, Pogan? What are you going to do? Can you just, can you ignore us? Can you ignore us? I, Haas. I, Haas, am authorizing you guys to, you know, keep paying attention to Pogan. Keep watching his videos. Keep making sure Pogan remembers the debt he owes. Keep at it, guys. Oh, am I telling you to, to brigade him? Oh, no, no, of course not. Of course not. I'm just telling you to check out this cool content creator named Pogan. And, you know, make sure on all his new videos he knows what's up. And, you know, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, you know? Stupid bitch. As the Cold War with the United States and other NATO member states escalated, the quality of life experienced by the average Soviet citizen continued to deteriorate. And it became increasingly clear that global communism was on the decline. Oh, it became clear? Or that's what you thought was happening. Because it seems like, as we can clearly see now, that's just what you thought was happening because you're a stupid bitch. You celebrated the death of communism. Yes, you, because you're a fucking lib, just like the rest of them. And look what happened. China's on the rise now, and you turned out to be fucking wrong. You turned out to be fucking wrong, Pogan. What a big turn of events. What a shocking turn of events, Pogan. You turned out to be wrong, little bitch. This is a major reason Marxism-Leninism is an impractical suggestion. With Hogan, the only fucking communist or socialist countries are Marxist-Leninist, whether in the 20th century or now. There's less states now, but still, they're all Marxist-Leninist. There's not a single example. Not a single one, Pogan. Not a single example. Even now, Pogan. Even now. Within the confines of global capitalist hegemony, there can be no truly socialist nation. What a stupid thing. Why? Prove it. Why? Why not? Why can't there be? Why can't there? What did you what is the what does socialism mean to you that's so authoritative that people in the Soviet Union, in the heat of battle fighting in the trenches, they should care about what you think socialism means? Right? What is so authoritative about you and Noam Chomsky's view? That over a billion uh, Chinese people should give a shit about it. What is so authoritative about it? You stupid fuck. Our efforts as leftists should not be hinged on failed revolutionary ideologies or authoritarian approach. Hogan said failed ideologies. Hogan said failed ideologies. What failed, Pogan? China is literally becoming number one. China is literally taking over. They're literally becoming the most powerful fucking and most infamous country on planet Earth. What failure? Pogan, what failure? You tell me how the 20th century was a failure. It was a failure that the Soviet Union and the Eastern Bloc could not sustain themselves. After 70 years, they came into a problem. They couldn't overcome this problem. China overcame the problem. But does that mean that that entire 70 years is just a... You could just liquidate that as a failure? How could you fucking do that? How could a reasonable, sane person do that, Pogan? How does a state go from a fucking uh, agrarian, backward, piece-of-shit country with absolutely fucking nothing to a superpower that almost single-handedly defeated the Nazis and ended up with nuclear weapons, put the first man in fucking space, and built up a fucking civilization, a modern industrial civilization from scratch. Who's done that, Pogan? Name a single example in the history of mankind comparable to that. A single example. A single example, Pogan. 
A single example. But speaking of failures, Pogan, Chomsky, the guy you're sucking his cock, all of those anarcho-libertarian, whatever the fuck you want to call them, in Spain, failed even worse because they, they not only failed to defeat Franco, they fucked the actual popular forces who could have done that. You people, Pogan, have never accomplished a fucking thing in the history of mankind. You've done things worse than failure. You're traitors. You've done treachery, Pogan. You've sold people out to the imperialist enemies. That's what you fucking people have done, Pogan. You're nothing but traitors in, the his in history. You're nothing but fucking traitors. All you've fucking done is betray, sabotage, and try to undermine people who actually get shit done. What the fuck have your brand of fucking leftism done, Pogan? What the fuck have you ever done but try to ankle bike and fuck up what other people are trying to do? What have you done positively? Name one fucking thing. One fucking thing you've accomplished. One fucking thing for you to be calling this a failed ideology and for to be calling other people fucking failures. One fucking thing, Pogan. One fucking thing. One. Just one. One example where you've done something. Where you've accomplished something. You stupid cocksucker, you stupid bitch, talking all that shit, you dumb fuck. Pressure, but rather efforts to bolster the rights of workers and marginalized groups within the current system. You stupid bitch, Pogan. The paradigm of rights is bourgeois. Everyone fucking knows it's bourgeois. It's not about workers having more fucking rights, because that's a category of bourgeois law, you stupid fuck. Do you know anything, Pogan? Do you know anything? Do you know anything? You think proletarian dictatorship is about rights? No, it's not. It's about the dictatorship of one class against another. It's about the use of the state for violent purposes to suppress the class enemy. That's what it is, Pogan. It's got nothing to do with giving workers rights and... Oh, you fucking Fabian bitch. You Fabian fucking philanthropist bourgeois socialist bitch. You fucking think, this is why, because Pogan has the mentality that socialism means benevolent elites who come from the bourgeoisie take power and give the workers some, some charity, give them, give them some, we're gonna get, no Pogan, the workers themselves seize state power violently and use it for repressive ends against the class enemy. There is no, there's no, there's no philanthropy. The workers themselves, the workers themselves, the ones doing it, you fucking idiot. Oh, are we gonna help the workers or harm them? Hogan. Hogan, you dumb fuck. The worker subject is not separate from the state. The Soviet state acts on behalf of the working class and its interests. It does not stand apart from the working class. It is the working class politically. It is the working class politically. And because you're an individualist retard, you're going to say, well, it wasn't individually the working class. Yeah, because there's a difference between individuals or even the sum total of individuals and the method of their actual political reality and representation, you dumb fuck. There's a discontinuity between politics and individual reality. Because, but because you're an individualistic retard American, you don't seem to fucking understand that. Yes, the Soviet state was a proletarian dictatorship. Just because not every individual proletarian participated in that directly doesn't make it less so, you dumb fuck, you stupid bitch. System. Until such a time when global socialism becomes feasible. I have little doubt that Bay Area Marxist-Leninist, Infrared, and perhaps even other Marxist-Leninists will respond to this with a... Respond to it, Pogan? I'm fucking you. I'm not just responding to nothing, Pogan. You are getting fucked. Your video is getting fucked. Your video is getting fucked. Your video is getting its walls blown out is what's happening. Your video is getting fucked, Pogan. Getting fucked. Aggression and outrage. Perhaps implying that I am not truly a leftist if I'm with- I don't care if you call- Pogan, you're not truly a leftist, Pogan. Pogan. You are literally just a liberal. You're a Democrat shill and you're a bitch. But Pogan, here's what I'm going to tell you. You are a leftist, Pogan. 
You definitely are a leftist, Pogan. Oh, definitely. I have no doubt you're a leftoid. You are fucking leftist. You are fucking leftoid. And that's why I'm going to smash leftoids. And I'm going to break leftoids. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, Pogan. Oh, you are a fucking leftoid, Pogan. You're a cocksucker for the Democrats. You're the Democrat cocksucker. That's what you fucking are. And that's what it means to be a leftist in America, Pogan. I'm not interested. Pogan. Hogan, you think the left has an essence? You think I care about a true or fake leftist? You think the left is its own ends? You want to know who thinks the left is its own ends, Pogan? A fucking opportunistic who doesn't believe a... An opportunistic fucking naked mole rat who doesn't believe a fucking word they fucking say but just wants the virtue signal to get in the fucking club and wants the virtue signal to get... To, to fucking uh to get some kind of social recognition you you want to be a left for its own sake because you want to get in leftist circles and you admire leftists and leftist circles and you want their clout you want their power and you want them to recognize you i single-handedly say fuck every single fucking leftist every single leftist i want them to get on a line that stretches 25 miles, and each and every single one of them will take turns sucking my cock. Every single one of them. Every single leftist, you get in line, 25 miles, one by one, you all suck my balls. Every single one of you leftists. Every single fucking leftist on the internet. Every single one of you fucking left. I fucking hate every single one of you fucking leftists. Every single fucking one of you leftists. You can suck my fucking cock. How about that? And yeah, 99% of you calling yourself Marxist-Leninist in America, you are leftist too. I don't virtue signal to anyone, Pogan. I don't virtue signal to anyone, Pogan. I'm my own thing. I'm my own brand. I say, this is what I believe. Fuck you if you got a problem. I don't give a shit about anybody else because I don't pander to fucking anyone. I say what I consider the truth and... Fuck everybody who's got a problem with it. You can suck my cock. Get on line 25 miles. Get in the back. You have to drive the whole 25 miles. You can't even walk this line. This line's going to be so big. You're going to have to fucking drive there. You're going to have to fucking go to the airport and buy tickets to the end of the line of the people who need to be lined up. Suck my cock. Willing to engage in what is called bourgeois politics and forward pro worker reforms within the capitalist system. The reality is that such individuals and the ideology they forward are politically impotent. Any they're politically impotent, but they're the only ones who seize power. They're politically impotent, but they're the only people in the history of mankind who were socialists and actually took power. Is that impotence, Pogan, or is impotence declaring your fucking fake imaginary socialism, which will never see... Pogan, who the fuck are you to call anyone impotent, Pogan? You want to test impotence between me and you, Pogan? Who's more impotent, me or you, Pogan? Me or you? I, you should know what, Pogan? Let's let your girl find out. Let her find out. I think your girl wants to test who's more impotent, me or you. I think she is begging, begging to test that, to be the test subject of that test. Who is more impotent, Pogan? You or me? You or me, Pogan? You or me? Who's more impotent? Who's more impotent? I'm the Marxist-Leninist, Pogan. I am 100% a Stalinist tanky, 100% Marxist-Leninist, Pogan. You? You're a whatever fairy. You're a fairy tale socialist. We're gonna see who's more impotent, Pogan. You can, you can, you can have po You can have any definition of impotence. You can have sexual impotence. You can have political impotence. Doesn't fucking matter, Pogan. You are impotent, Pogan. We're not impotent here. We're not impotent here. You're fucking impotent. You're fucking impotent. Marxist Leninists, the only ones in the history of mankind who seized power as communists. The only ones. There's no other examples of anyone seizing power anywhere on planet Earth besides Marxist Leninists. There is not a single example of anyone in the history of mankind seizing power except marxist leninist please name me one example name me one fucking example you fat ugly disgusting gerbil fuck any leftist revolution that were to commence within the united states or a similar country will inevitably fail resulting how do you know what are you even talking about pogan pole bitch pole bitch pogan bitch pole bitch 
Listen to me now, poor bitch. We're not talking about revolution right now. We're talking about actual American politics. I've actually explained a million fucking times why Marxism Leninism right now has relevance for real world American politics. Real world American politics. The actual one, not one I want to create from scratch. I've accomplished that, Pogan. I've accomplished that, Pogan. We Marxist Leninists, we're Jimmy Dore people. We fucking understand the political realities. Don't fucking be out here saying, oh, nah, 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 nah. shut the fuck up, Pogan. We don't have some fucking abstract ideal in our head. We're trying to LARP in reality and perform reality to. As though, as though what? Me and a few buddies are going to form a, a vanguard party and we're just going to, we're going to have a revolution. No, dude, Pogan, you fucking moron. Marxism Leninism, as it's been applied to history, was never that. Mao didn't do that, Lenin didn't do that, none of them have done that. None of them did that. None of them did that, you stupid fuck. So when we call ourselves Marxist-Leninists, we're not the straw man that you're thinking in your fucking head. Because you're a fucking retard who's a straw man, because you refuse to sit down, read the fucking books, study fucking actual history methodically, understand how was it that Lenin and the Bolsheviks seized power. How did Mao seize power? How did other Marxist-Leninists actually manage to do it? You don't sit down and read the fucking books. And not, nowhere in these books are you going to create this fucking straw man of some kind of spun, you know. Just right over there, right there. That's not how it fucking works, you fucking retard. You stupid fuck talking out of your fucking ass. Because you don't want to fucking actually take the fucking time to read the books. Sit your fucking ass down, little boy, and actually fucking study. Hogan, I'm your alpha. I'm your alpha. It doesn't matter, Pogan. You can scoff this off and say, oh, yeah, I'm not going to debate Haas. But for as long as you have, don't do that, Pogan... I own your manhood. I own your manhood. I have your manhood in a little fucking cage, in a little box. And the key, I have the key. You want your key back, Pogan? You want your key? Got your nose. Got your nose. You want it back, Pogan? You come fucking debate me. Until then, Pogan, you're going to have dreams. You're going to have nightmares of my face. I define your presence on the internet. I'm going to be the guy who defines your presence on the internet, Pogan. That's going to be me. You're going to think of my face, Pogan. Yeah, it's personal. And also, Pogan, it's personal. It's actually personal. Believe it or not, it's actually personal now, Pogan. Oh, bitch. Pogan, you bitch. Thing in mass casualties and perhaps a crackdown against quote-unquote countercultural ideologies in general. Similarly, the What are you fucking talking about, you fucking moron? You didn't even know what he's talking about. He's, he's saying things, he doesn't even know what they mean. The sort of government these individuals lobby for is one of rigid authoritarianism and totalitarianism. What's it? He's just, a whole jumble of shit that doesn't make any sense. He said, the ones we lobby for. What do you mean lobby for? What does that fucking even mean to lobby for it? What, does, what are you even fucking talking about? What Marxist Leninist created a blueprint for the government and then lobbied for it? What does that even fucking mean? You don't know what you're talking about because you don't know anything about Marxism, Marxism, Leninism, or socialism in general because you're a stupid fuck. Often coinciding with the oppression of ethnic minorities and political dissidents. Yeah, yeah, more Wikipedia propaganda. Again, he's a tautological retard. He just says things without proving them. He just says things without proving them. Instead, let me think. Can Pogan substantiate a single claim he's made in this video? Can he actually not just say a... You know, it's one thing to make claims, Pogan. It's another thing to actually substantiate them with evidence. And I'm calling your fucking bluff. You can't fucking do it. I will fuck every single source you try to bring that says that... Oh, uh, president, I think my guys, stop fuck up, you dumb bitch. The efforts of the left should prioritize reform and compassion. Reform and compassion? Reform and compassion? Compassion is the fucking feeling your girl feels after I fucked her, and all of a sudden she's compassionate for me. That's what compassion means, Pogan. That's what compassion means, Pogan. That's what compassion means, Pogan. You want to talk about compassion? Compassion? Uh, we should have reform and compassion, Pogan. I will die. I will die before I'm a bitch like you. I will die before I'm a bitch like you. Compassion? Compassion? You think? You think? 
You think we're fucking here? You think we're fucking here? You think we're fucking here? You think we're fucking here to be compassionate, Pogan? You think we're here to be compassionate, Pogan? We, we, we are fucking here to destroy the enemy and conquer the state. We're not here to be compassionate. We're not here to be compassionate to anyone. You want compassion? Go get a little puppy. You want compassion? Go get a dog. You want compassion? You want compassion? I will show you no compassion, Pogan. I have no compassion for you, Pogan. I will eat you for breakfast. I will eat you for breakfast. And the little puppy you buy, I'll roast it in an open pit and eat your puppy too. And I'll bite its head. Ah! Compassion? King, the best of a system that we accept as flawed and exploitative, but one we must work within until a brighter tomorrow is realized. His more fucking effluvia to skip the fact that concrete meat and potatoes, that this is a Democrat cocksucker. Literally, the only substantive meaning of this video is to go vote for Biden. That's the only actual meaning of what he's trying to say. He's using all these poetry and ornamentation. That's all it fucking means is go suck the Democrats' cock. That's all it fucking means. Never forget that. We cannot yet end the exploitation, but we can alleviate it to a considerable degree. And the best way to accomplish this is by- Pogan, let me test you, Pogan. Do you fucking think exploitation, as it's used in Marxism, is a fucking moral, uh, Oh, they're being morally exploit- Pogan, you fucking retard. You're trying to confuse scientific terms for fucking bullshit, fucking airy-fairy fucking terms. You think fucking Marxism is a philanthropic fucking project and not a fucking actual scientific socialism. That's your fucking issue, Pogan. You think it's a philanthropic- project and not the organ of a class ruthlessly engaged in a war with its class enemy you think marxism is a fucking philanthropic project and not a weapon whose use is to destroy to annihilate to destroy the enemy you fucking idiot stupid fuck i'm moving the general public further to the left Pogan, you will never move anyone to the left. No one wants your leftism. Everyone fucking hates you. I know you think they don't hate you because you live in an insulated bubble, but out here in the wild where you see real normal fucking working Americans, they fucking hate you, Pogan. They will never accept you. Never in a million years. Never in a million fucking years, Pogan. Pogan, let's see who normies prefer, you or me. Normie working class people, who do they prefer, you or me, Pogan? You want to... You want to test it? You want to test it? You know why, Pogan? Because people don't care about abstract ideology. People care about realness, Pogan. I'm fucking real. I'm real and you're fake. That's why they will prefer me. They don't care if I'm a Stalinist. I'm real. I wear what I am on my fucking wrist. Nobody cares that I'm a Stalinist, Pogan. No one cares. Something that can't be done if we make excuses for failed, unethical governments. Hogan's acting like he's a fucking school teacher, and he's gonna talk down on the so You're unethical. You're an unethical government. This is an unethical government. And I think it is. Pogan, your ethics can go right back where they came from, right up your fucking ass. They have no reality, they have no meaning, there's nothing to them. Stop fucking bluffing, Pogan, because I'm starting to call your bluffs. You keep talking about ethics, you don't know what you're fucking talking about. You keep using words, in so many words, you're just trying to say, that the Soviet Union hurt my fee-fees. It hurt my fee-fees. The Soviet Union hurts my fee-fees. In so many words, he's just saying that. He's using morality and ethics. Of, of the only actual, look, when you get to the meat and potatoes philosophically of the whole foundation and basis of the whole fucking sham, it literally comes down to, they make me uncomfortable and hurt my fifis because the reality of statehood is a mean and manly business that I'm just uncomfortable. Because you're a little boy, Pogan. That's why, because you're not a man. That's why, Pogan, because you're a little fucking boy. You don't know the fucking actual harsh realities that are behind statehood.
The realities of statehood, Pogan, are harsh ones, you little fucking boy. This isn't about little bitches. You're like a little fuck. You're literally like a little boy. You're like a five year old little boy, and they gotta take the dog out back and put Shiloh down because Shiloh's sick, and they gotta put him out of his misery. They gotta take old Yeller out in the backyard and put him down. No, no. But he elevated that to the fucking status of a fucking official political position. Pogan, there are harsh realities. There are harsh realities of the world. There's harsh, brutal realities of the world. There are harsh and brutal realities of the world, Pogan. Believe it or not. There's harsh, cold, and brutal realities. It is commonly believed, with good reason, that any viable political system that elevates workers to the forefront of the political process and provides them with both personal autonomy and economic freedom is a system that would incorporate democracy. By their... Pogan, you want to you know something, Pogan? I will fucking drag your ear through the mud proving to you that the Soviet Union was more democratic than America. And so is today's China. Actually, you stupid bitch. But what you mean by democracy is you're trying to virtue signal to liberals because, Pogan, what they mean by democracy is that people and people's reality and people's attitudes and people's sentiments are more involved in the realities of politics, right? What you mean is that parasitical liberal institutions reign over society. That's what you mean by democracy, P Pogan. What you mean by democracy is liberal institutions, American NGOs. That's what you fucking mean, Pogan. Why does your definition of democracy trump everyone else's, huh? You fucking bluffing bitch. Fat fuck, Pogan. Our very nature, none of the regimes we've discussed today were democratic by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, really, Pogan? You're just gonna say that but not prove it, now are you? I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, Pogan, they are one billion times more democratic than anything you can even imagine or think of. I'll tell you that right now, Pogan. Yeah, yeah, they were one billion times percent more responsive to the actual needs, thoughts, sentiments and attitudes of the people they governed than america is now you want to test me on that pogan because i got receipts i have receipts pogan i don't just talk like you and just assume that because the tv says so i'm gonna get away scot-free with repeating propaganda i actually have receipts pogan i have receipts imagination nor did they allow for the existence of meaningful political debate or dissent Oh, really, Pogan? What is meaningful political debate or dissent in your fucking eyes, huh? Spreading propaganda, the Soviet Union must be overthrown? Because, yeah, in that case, no, they didn't allow that. But actually, Pogan, when it actually came to real politics, real shit, yes, they allowed all sorts of dissent and political debate. Of course they fucking did. You just couldn't attack the state itself and its existence and put it in under threat. But in terms of actual policy, you you could you could debate about that. You think people didn't debate it? That they fucking did. I'll prove it to you, bitch. We have receipts. Stupid fuck. Do you know anything about history? Why do you say this with 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 the minimum of confidence when you don't know? You clearly the reason I know you don't know this, Pogan, is because I know that the contrary is actually true. So clearly the fact that you're saying something fundamentally wrong means you just don't know you didn't do your fucking homework. Apologetics aside, it becomes increasingly clear to a careful observer that any apologetics run for this reduced to whataboutism or fear-mongering. No, they fucking don't, Pogan. Here's the fucking difference, is that it's not a careful observer who's gonna come to the conclusion apologetics have. It's a fucking opportunistic bitch like you who's Dick riding off of the intuitions created by American liberal propagandists, which don't require any careful observation or thought, but which are a priori sentiments that are not suspended and tested in reality anywhere. That's what you're fucking dick riding off of, Pogan. That's why you say the shit that you do with confidence, because you think, well, if CNN says this shit, then I can certainly say it and get away with it. I know your whole game, Pogan. I'm here to fucking expose your whole game, you little fucking fat pussy bitch, Pogan. You stupid fuck. Blaming the actions of the Soviets or the Chinese, for instance, on the looming CIA boogeyman rather than accepting... No, not... 
Who, first of all, who said the CIA in the case of the Soviet Union in the 30s? It wasn't the CIA. It was German fascism, Japanese fascism, and the whole fucking world who wanted to see the Soviet Union destroyed. The whole capitalist elites of the whole... And Pogan, isn't it fucking really so unreasonable that the first fucking socialist state in the history of mankind is going to be besieged by all of the fucking status quo and powers that be? Is that such a paranoid crazy and unreasonable stretch of the imagination oh so the state whose very existence is a declaration of war on the international oligarchy the international bankers the capitalists and imperialists and colonialists oh oh no 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 they're not going to plot against that state they're not going to try to do everything in their power to crush that state and try to undermine that state that's so unreasonable to think that's so unreasonable to think is that literally what you want us to believe, you fat, ugly, lying fuck? ...the failures of central planning and cults of personality. What failures of central planning? How huh? fucking fat fuck, bitch, Pogan? What failures of central planning? Go ahead and tell me them. Go ahead and tell me them. Go ahead and tell me them. The failure of central planning that allowed the Soviet Union to defeat the most powerful military on Earth? That failure? Which failure, Pogan? Which failure, Pogan? The failure that fed the Soviet people? The failure that uplifted the Soviet people? Which one? Which one? And by the way, Pogan, you fat fuck retard. You fat fuck retard, Pogan. When you're talking about the cult of personality, quote unquote cult of personality, every single politician after World War II has a cult of personality. And now it's even worse. Kamala Harris has a cult of personality more extensive, more widespread, more emotionally intensive, and more psychologically all-encompassing than Stalin could ever have dreamed of. Than Stalin could ever have dreamed of. Ever have, and she's not even the president, she's just the vice president. You stupid fuck. Quoting the article on the dictatorship of the proletariat, quote, The Bolsheviks became concerned that under these conditions, the absence of mass participation in political life and the banning of opposition parties... Count First of all, what time period are you talking about? Are you talking about the 20s, or 30s, or 40s? Which one? Because they're not all the same. But you're recklessly assuming that the Soviet Union is going to be the same across all... So, so this, this thing you're quoting applies to the whole Soviet Union's existence? Or does it apply to the immediate aftermath of the Civil War when the working class base of the Bolsheviks was decimated... And yes, the Bolsheviks had tr had that kind of trouble. Stupid fuck. Counter-revolutionary forces would express themselves within the Bolsheviks. You keep failing? Who keeps failing? What are you talking about, Chris? Who's failing? The party itself. Some evidence existed for this in the mass of ex-opposition party members who signed up for Bolshevik membership immediately after the end of the Civil War. Despite so he's talking, yeah, about the end of the fucking civil war. Guess what, Pogan? That civil war killed millions of people. Millions of people. And that doesn't apply for the rest of the Soviet history. Because the base of the Soviet state was the peasantry after that. It was the newly formed uh, Soviet citizen who came from the peasants. So what are you talking about? Hogan, fucking retard. You want to know how we have proof of that too? Because behind enemy lines, after the Nazis liberated the workers from Bolshevik tyranny, they still formed partisan bands without any coercion from the Soviet state whatsoever and obeyed the central orders in order to undermine and drive out the Nazis. Why did they fucking do that, Pogan? What incentive? Did There's no coercion involved whatsoever. Stupid bitch. Despite the principle of democratic centralism in the Bolshevik party, Internal factions were banned. This was considered an ex Yeah. Why were they banned? Do you know the history why they were banned? Do you actually know the history of why they were banned, Pogan? Because at first they allowed that fucking fuckery and bullshit. But guess what happened? The more the Bolsheviks tolerated this fucking bullshit, the more the most ruthless of their enemies would exploit it in order to destroy the Soviet state. Dumb fuck extreme measure and did not fall within marxist doctrine the ban what okay you just said a sentence that is 100 percent meaningless what first of all what is marxist doctrine i want you to 
actually tell me what doctrine is Marxism. Because I can show you Marxists who say Marxism is not a doctrine, right? But what is, so what is the so-called doctrine of Marxism? Second of all, if we accept the premise that there's a doctrine of Marxism, how is it that liberal democracy is in any way part of it? Can you show me anywhere in Marx and Engels where they say that democratic participation is some kind of absolute axiom of their thinking? Show me where they say that. Show me anything like that. Anything. Literally anything. And now I know why he didn't come to debate me. Because Pogan knows I literally will call his bluff when he says shit like this. I will literally ask him for proof and for receipts for why he's saying what he, what he does. Because it's literally a bluff. Pogan doesn't have anything. He doesn't actually have anything. It's a fucking bluff. All he's doing is bluffing. It remained until the Soviet Union's dissolution in 1991. In 1921... Vigorous internal debate and freedom of opinion were still present within Russia, and the beginnings of censorship. What you're talking about, Pogan, is that the tiny slither of a minority of the Russian people, the intelligentsia, who were less than 1% of the people who were actually governed by the fucking Bolsheviks, had free reign to do all their dumb liberal bullshit. But guess what, Pogan? They weren't the majority. They didn't represent the fucking majority. And that's who you're fucking talking about. You're talking about the city intellectuals who had the freedom to realize it. Guess what, Pogan? They didn't represent the majority by any means. Most Russians were illiterate. You dumb fuck. You stupid fuck. They couldn't even read or write. And mass political repression had not yet emerged. The workers' opposition faction continued to operate despite being nominally dis- Pogan, you fucking retard. While you're valorizing and glorifying the fucking city parasites, I want you to know, Pogan, that their free reign and their power came at the expense of the Russian people's power. That's why the fucking workers' opposition wanted to fucking uh, engage in a civil war and a tyranny against the 90% majority of peasants because those peasants were too backward and back, just like Trump supporters, right? Well, you know your whole fucking shtick and your whole game, but we fucking cocksucker, little bitch. He's the fucking cocksucker who thinks democracy means DSA fucking jazz hands and some shit fucking bullshit shit like that. You know, that's what he's fucking talking about. He thinks that's the people. You stupid bitch, Pogan, you dumb fuck, you fat, stupid fuck. Solved. The debates of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union continued to be published until 1923. The article goes on to discuss the Soviet Union. So what? Why, why would they fucking publish it so why every fucking foreign enemy could see it? You dumb fuck, you stupid bitch. And under Stalin, saying, quote, Elements of the leader said, Hogan, Hogan, you fucking idiot. What state in the history of mankind is, is, what, you're ta is what you're talking about? So transparent. This is what states are, Hogan. This is fundamentally what a state is. It's what a state is Pogan, you dumb fucking bitch, you fat fuck bitch. And if you think that the American state is just the official institutions, that's just as fucking stupid as thinking the Soviet state is just the official institutions and not the Communist Party. But the difference, you fat stupid bitch fuck Pogan, is that in the Soviet Union, they named the Communist Party and they admitted there was a Communist Party that was in control. In America, our deep state is not named and it's denied openly that it even exists, you stupid fuck. Censorship and attacks on political expression would appear during Lenin's illness and after his death, when members of the future Stalinist clique We well, are fucking talking out of your ass! All of those repressions began well before Lenin's death. You don't know what you're talking about. Literally prove what you're saying with any substantive evidence, you stupid fuck. You're talking literally out, straight out of your fucking ass, you fucking liar. Clamped down on party democracy among the Georgian Bolsheviks and began to censor- no, Pogan, that's not what fucking happened. It had nothing to do with party democracy. That was about the national question. You're talking about the Georgian affair. The Georgian affair wasn't about party democracy whatsoever. Party democracy had nothing to do with anything regarding that. What it actually was about was that it was about the level of national autonomy that they were going to permit the Georgia, not specifically Georgia even, but the Mensheviks in Georgia to have. 
you stupid fuck. And yes, Lenin did clash with Stalin and the rest of them on this, but it had nothing to do with democracy. It had nothing to do with, oh, Lenin was more democratic. Lenin had not even differing views, but differing interpretations over the same view of what the national question in the USSR was. Censor material. Pravda ceased publishing the opinions of political oppositions after 1924, and at the same time the ruling clique admitted large numbers of new members into the party in order to shout down the voices of oppositionists. There we fucking go. There we fucking go, Pogan. Pogan! That's literally more democratic. So more people were allowed to join the party, and this stifled the voices of the fucking kulaks who, who had power without a popular majority. You're such a fuck. He just fucking admitted it. He literally just admitted it. He literally admitted what fucking happened. Why are those opposition voices more important than the new members? Why should their voices prioritize over the Russian majority? Why should those fucking voices be over the fucking the new members, Pogan? Why are they entitled to that? Why are there? Why are they entitled to anything? Is that them? So according to you, Pogan, democracy means that an elite group of intellectuals has tyranny over everyone. That's what it means to you, Pogan. Guys, 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 guys. The Bolsheviks. Um, they they let more people into the party, so this acute minority of elites didn't have uh, the power to drown out their voice. Well, fuck. Them. democracy means one man one vote you can't say that those voices are qualitatively superior to the new members so the problem is that they were demo this literally is what it comes down to i'm gonna explain it to you guys pogan it also applies to america too keep that in mind pogan is in bourgeois elitist right he's a fucking pmc fucking bitch pmc little pussy right and he wants his power and the power of his class to be unchallenged. And he fears democracy. Because democracy means that their voices will be drowned out. It means that their voices will not have any fucking leverage over the voices of the majority. That's what Pogan fears. The voices of the PMC Kulak intellectuals being drowned out in order for the voices of the majority to be heard. That's what Pogan fears, that's what the bourgeoisie has always feared, and that's what every fucking elitist aristocracy has feared in the history of mankind. Pogan literally is afraid of democracy. Pogan is here literally demonizing democracy. Pogan is in this video demonizing democracy. That's what's going on. Set party meetings, severely curtailing internal debate. Their policies were partly directed by the interests of the new bureaucracy that had accumulated. Hold on. Hogan the pussy wrote me a paragraph. He goes, Ha, huh, let me read this. You stupid fucking pussy. I'm not going to read your fucking paragraph, you little bitch. Oh, no, it's not Pogan. Uh, it's someone else. Sorry. I thought it was Pogan. Sorry, 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 Bandit. My bad. I thought that was Pogan. Uh, it was from Pogan. I'll, I'll read it uh, after stream. ...a great deal of social weight in the absence of an active participation in politics by the majority of people. By Wait, what did he say? Let's see what he said. He just contradicted himself. ...the voices of oppositionists at party meetings, severely curtailing internal debate. Their policies were partly directed by the interests of the new bureaucracy that had accumulated a great deal of social weight in the absence of an active participation in politics by the majority of people. But Pogan, when they opened up so that more people could participate, guess what happened? That, that means that the voices of the opposition are going to be stifled. That's actually what continued to happen in the history of the Soviet Union. That's what happened during Stalin's democratic reforms and the Stalin constitution. And the backlash from the fucking the PMC elites that you're defending as the sacred lambs was so severe. That's actually what gave rise to the fucking great purges. Because it's the law of the gatekeepers. Stalin opened up the Soviet state to the peasants... And this made these fucking intellectual elites in the city so ass mad and so fucking, they were seething so fucking hard that they engaged in actual rebellion against the Soviet state. And this triggered the purges, believe it or not, you stupid fuck. Literally the history. 
By 1927, many supporters of the left. Infra, why are you balding? I, dude, I've, not, I've always told you I was balding. What the fuck are you talking about? I've always told you I was balding. And the reason is because uh, stress and anger. Left opposition began to face political repression, and Leon Trotsky was exiled. Yeah, Pogan, do you know what Trotsky's plan for collect super collectivization was? Do you know about Trotsky's plan, super industrialization? Trotsky literally wanted to bring the military to the countryside and force the peasants at gunpoint to rob and extort them. But you're talking here about democracy, you fucking lying, fat, hypocrite, stupid fuck who doesn't know anything about history? Trotsky literally called Stalin a vulgar Democrat because Trotsky thought Stalin was too democratic. You think you're a shining example of the Soviet Union being anti-democratic is expelling Trotsky, literally the most non-democratic and anti-democratic faction in the fucking USSR, you dumb fuck. You think Trotsky was a Democrat, retard? Hogan, just so I can inform you about history, Trotsky and Lenin had a little disagreement. Oh, but it wasn't little. It was about something very specific. Lenin talked about the dictatorship, the democratic dictatorship of the workers and peasantry. Trotsky only believed in the dictatorship of the workers. You know what that means, Pogan, you stupid fuck? It means that Trotsky thought that the minority of people in the Soviet Union who were classical Marxist workers, who were a tiny fucking tiny minority, should have dictatorial rule over everyone else, and everyone else has no input, no nothing, no stakes in the Soviet state. Are you talking about democracy now, you fucking moron? Trotsky was literally going to use the state as a full-on dictatorship of repression and tyranny against the Russian majority of peasants. You stupid fuck. Trotsky literally broke with Lenin on this specific point. You're such a fucking idiot. They, the whole fucking point of the opposition, Pogan, was that they were saying that the Russians were too backward, too Mongolian, too Asian, too Asiatic, too, uh, too stupid, too ignorant, and too subhuman to actually be the basis of a new socialist state. They said, oh, since the revolution didn't spread to Germany and England, that means we're stuck with all of these subhuman peasants and, uh, and, and we're scared those, uh, uh, don't, don't drown out our voices, don't drown out our voices. Pogan, those voices were the voices of genocide against the fucking Russian people, you stupid fuck. You're such a fucking idiot and a liar who doesn't know shit about history. Literally doesn't fucking know shit about history. Such a fucking liar. This whole fucking video is a fucking lie. He doesn't fucking know shit about history. He literally doesn't know shit about history. He's literally a fucking liar. Literally a fucking liar. If you identify with one of the ideologies that I've mentioned in this video today, I hope you understand <laughs> and that I'm not attacking you as a person. Pogan, I am attacking you as a person. As a person, as an individual, personally I'm attacking you, Pogan. I'm personally attacking you. ...person or insinuating that you're a bad person. No, Pogan, I am insinuating you're a bad person, you're a fucking liar too. I am insinuating- I'm not only insinuating that, I'm asserting it, and I'm stating it directly. I'm merely offering an opinion on the ideology. Your opinion's fucking retarded and is not informed by any facts. It's informed by your own fucking thin air. You pulled everything out of your ass. ...as a whole and insinuating that if the left has certain objectives, namely meaningful improvement... Of Fuck you. Fuck the left. The left has no objectives except to suck the cock of the Democrats. That's all it fucking means. ...of the quality of life of the working class, social... Which China alone has actually consistently succeeded in doing. China alone. Only China, Pogan. Only fucking China has, in a targeted, intensive, and direct way, improved the standards of life for its people using the leverages of state power. There's only one example, Pogan.
today. One. One. The one example is China. Maybe there's another Vietnam. All, they're all Marxist Leninist states. It's not going to be India. It's not going to be uh, Bangladesh. It's not going to fucking be Nepal. It's not going to fucking be uh, Bhutan. It's not even going to be Taiwan, Japan, or South Korea. Those countries have not improved their people after the fucking miracle, the, the economic miracles of the 70s. And after that, they stagnated. Every example you're going to find are going to be Marxist Leninists who consistently raise the people's living standards. I'm not saying just raise them once. I'm not saying raise them from a definite period of time. I'm saying consistently pull people out of poverty and make people's lives better than they were before. Listen, China didn't only do this recently. It did it many times. It did it under Mao and continued to do so under Deng Xiaoping. And then afterwards, in another era, it did so in the early 2000s. And now it's doing so even more under Xi. So consistently, it is raising the people's living standards. Consistently. Contrast that to capitalist nations, which don't consistently do it. They, it might happen once for incidental reasons. And then there's a downturn, there's a stagnation. And then people start to lose their shit. They, uh, they fall into poverty and there's a big crisis. Progress. Compare and contrast. Taiwan's people... You fucking idiot. I literally just talked about this. Taiwan's people's living standards is better now than in the past. Obviously, obviously Chinese people's living standards at any point were better than in, in the past after the Communist Party took power. It's about consistently. Right now, Taiwan is a stagnating country. So no, Taiwan does not consistently improve the welfare and living standards of its people. It does so in one gulp, and then it stopped being able to do so. That's what I'm talking about. Progressivism, etc. These are the sorts of ideologies that we should try to avoid. That's not... You fucking failed to make the case, Pogan. You just got fucked. Not to say all of their ideas are completely useless. I think there's, of course, historical merit in understanding, say, Marxism-Leninism. It's just to say, given the current political climate and given what's achievable within the system, these are not things that we should be endorsing. And further... You haven't made the case, Pogan, because you don't actually know what Marxist-Leninists say or are capable of saying about the situation in America. You just pulled some fucking bullshit out of your fucking ass. Your whole fucking video is a fucking sham. A whole fucking video is a sham. I think running apologetics for the abhorrent actions of Hogan, you fucking retard. Half of the fucking country thinks everything that comes out of the media is a fucking lie. So it's not a stretch to say that the shit they were saying about communist countries was also a lie. But you have to actually take two... There's two sides here, Pogan. There's the lib shit bitches like you who are scared about fake... You know, oh, there's public distrust of the media. Public distrust of... Yeah, Pogan, if I side with you lib shits, I'm going to have a very hard time convincing people... That the Soviet Union wasn't the boogeyman. But if I side with the populace and the anti-establishment people, including the Trump people, who already think it's all a fucking lie, I'm going to have a much easier time convincing them that the Soviet Union is not what the lib shits like you are saying it was. So, Pogan, you're assuming that we're wedded to your establishment. We're not wedded to your establishment. We're not bound by the rules and regulations of your establishment. That's the fucking difference, Pogan. Fucking Pillsbury Doughboy, fat bitch boy, Hogan. Stupid fucking name. Regimes throughout history only serves to worsen the image of the left to people that would otherwise be in great. No, Pogan, you're not in control of the left's image whatsoever. You are not in control of that fucking image. There's nothing. The only thing you can do to improve the image of the left is to fucking drop dead. Because that left is irredeemable. It's not redeemable whatsoever. You will never be popular. There's nothing you can fucking do to be popular. You're dead and you're gone. We are not trying to be your left. We're not trying to save your left. We're trying to create something new. Something new. And Pogan, this between you and me, we have a chance. We actually have a chance. You don't have a chance. We have a chance at building something new. You don't. That's the difference. You're dead and fucking gone. Hogan, Biden doesn't fucking need you anymore. 
you you fulfilled your fucking historical task of being the cocksucker of the Democrats, and you're not needed anymore, Pogan. Your so your services are no longer required, Pogan. They're no longer required. You're completely superfluous, Pogan. Completely superfluous. Stupid fuck. Created into the left. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Even if you no, I didn't fucking enjoy. No one enjoyed it. No one enjoyed it. Everyone go dislike this video. Disagreed. I want your thoughts in the comments. I welcome open and fair discussions on this topic. If you did enjoy the video, but he ran away from me. He still won't debate me. He's such a pussy. He's such a fucking pussy. He's such a fucking pussy. Such a fucking pussy. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the New American Left channel. All your support greatly helps us out, as always. If you want to support the project directly, you can head to patreon.com slash newamericanleft. Any and all support you give me over there. Never give this guy a fucking dime. Never give him a fucking dime because the CIA is already fucking paying him. Don't worry, the CIA is already fucking paying him. Don't give him a fucking dime. Here's what his CIA handlers at Langley told him. They said, Pogan, little boy Pogan, will cover all of the professional stuff. But if you want, Pogan, you can open up a Patreon and all the money they give you, you can spend it on video games, weed, and uh, personal luxuries. He doesn't need any of this money. All of his expenses are paid for, his house is paid for, uh, his food is paid, all the necessities are paid for, his computer, his equipment. All this Patreon money is going to Fruit Loops. It's all going to Pop-Tarts. It's going to Pop-Tarts and Pringles and fucking uh, Oreos and fat fuck Pogan, things that fat fuck Pogan loves eating all the time. That's what all this money is going to. There is, of course, appreciated. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash new left. If you want to go fund his obesity, go give him money. But otherwise, don't do it. Because the CIA is giving him more than enough. And trust me, this guy's he requested a lot. He said, every single day I want a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. Every single day. They said, okay, we'll write it down. He said, every single day for dinner I want Big Macs and a large fry and a large Diet Coke because I'm on a diet. He said, okay, sure. He said, also for dessert, I want five pints of double chocolate thunder ice cream. They said, okay, sure, Pogan, whatever you need. So you want to keep feeding his obesity? Go ahead, be my guest. Left press, where we post all of our spicy political and economic takes as they happen. Once, Once again, again, thank you for watching. watching. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll, I'll see you in the next, next video. Go dislike this video. Everyone dislike it. Let's see what it is members into the party yeah you fucking bitch we win fucking we win look at this look at this we have more dislikes than likes see that more dislikes than likes see that that's what we're talking about that's what we're fucking talking about that's what we're that's power pogan that's what power looks like that's what a horde looks like pogan little fucking bitch that's what it fucking looks like pogan we win bitch fuck you stupid and pogan you wanna know how fucking pathetic you are, Pogan, you stupid bitch? You wanna know how fucking pathetic you are, Pogan, Copkin? Copkin, you got what? 1.2k videos on this 9 minute video. You put so much effort into it. Pogan, so much effort! So much! And Pogan, you have 3k subs. I only have 4k subs, by the way, Pogan. So you have to understand this. I have... What the fuck? I have 4k subs, only 1, 1k more subs than you, Pogan. And this video was released... Two days ago, you, it's nine minutes, a lot of editing went into it, a lot of work went into it, clearly this was like a high quality video, there's like so much shit you did to fucking release this, and you got 1.2k views, right? Look at me, meanwhile, compare that to me, I literally just clipped this bait video about Hassan Piker, last night at 10pm, this was, this is literally from last night at 10pm, and I got 2.3k views. Hogan, you'll never be on my level. You'll literally never be on my level. You'll never ever be on my fucking level. You'll never be on my level. You'll never fucking be on my level, Pogan. There's no... Pogan, you think your videos will ever compare to ours? You think you'll ever be on our level? Look at the fucking video Ed made. You think you'll ever be like that, Pogan? You'll never be like that. You'll never ever be like that. You'll never be like that, you fucking pussy. Cause you're literally a bitch. Cause you're a fucking bitch. You're a fucking pussy. Stupid bitch. I'm gonna blow my nose. We'll be on the Reddit. One sec.